I really need to spend more time in Wanaka. This place is amazing. Thanks so much, Jeremy, to you and your family for letting me stay at your humble abode down here. It's like Wanaka down there. Today's job's in Dunedin. I'm getting on the road now. It's about a three hour drive because I'm going the fun way. Let's go. Good morning. It's about negative three degrees at the moment. Check out how amazing Wanaka is. This is only my second time here. But I got here last night and it was dark. So I missed all of this. I'm kind of just stalling a bit while I wait for the car to warm up. I think it's bloody cold. Can't see out of the windows. Just gonna get on the road, driving to Dunedin. Got two jobs in Dunedin today. Um, both aren't that exciting for you, so I won't really share any of the stuff from the jobs. But I will share some cool aerial footage over Dunedin. Gonna be in the drone up anyway. And if everything goes to plan, I'm flying home tonight. If something goes slightly pear-shaped, I've got flight time tomorrow morning. But I don't wanna do that, because I wanna see Scarlet tonight. Because tomorrow I've got a big job back up in Wellington, which means I won't see her all day tomorrow or all night tomorrow either. So I've got to get the job done today so I can see my Scarlet move. Well, there's no Tesla Model 3 here. So there's been a Tesla Model 3 spotted in New Zealand. And this random charging station in the middle of nowhere is one of the first to open in the country. Speculation is because up in those hills is the only southern hemisphere racetrack testing cars. Model 3 was spotted in Auckland last week. Speculation it's here for, for testing. I was a little bit hopeful I'd pull up here and just find one parked here but alas there is no Model 3. I'm gonna grab a coffee you know, while I'm here. The actual hotel where it's at it's pretty amazing. This is the Cadrona Hotel. I think it's like the oldest hotel in New Zealand or one of. It's definitely a bloody cool building. Such a cool little restaurant thing. Shame most people are holding on fire. Damn it. I get some sneaky bacon and eggs. Don't know when else I'm gonna get a chance to have lunch today. Winning. Refueled, got my coffee. Now back on the road. Another three hours to go. Still no Tesla. Still no Tesla. Hi again. This is the summit of the Crown Range. It's Queenstown through there. Queenstown's one of my favorite places in the world and it's killing me that I'm not going there today. Oh God, that car's struggling. Very icy in here, that's why I parked over here. So I don't have those kinds of problems. Yeah, I'm going down that hill now. Negative three degrees up here. <laughs> Although it's toasty in the car. It's probably better I did this trip in the dark last time. I can't help but stopping. It's an amazing view. I need to learn how to not stop because I'm going to be late if I keep stopping every time I see a cool spot. Look, I've started the bloody trend now. Everyone's stopping. Everyone's stopping for a gander. This guy's going to the next level to get an epic photo. I'm not doing that. Seriously, Brady, you've got to stop stopping at every lookout. This is the best one, and this is the last one. I'm not stopping again. How could I not stop with a view like that? This is the last time I'm stopping, I promise. Okay, I had to stop again. But you can clearly see why I had to stop, right? Is this not the stillest lake you've ever seen in your entire life? It's ridiculous. Look how still that lake is. I can't believe it. It looks fake. I am trying to limit how much I stop. But how can you not stop when you're driving through some of New Zealand's nicest scenery? I wish I had like an extra week to do this trip. Anyway, I've really got to get back to work. I'm running quite late now. Made it to Dunedin. I finished my whole job. I haven't done any of this video business stuff because I've been working. And as you know, I've been running a bit late all day, but I've got the work done. So now, I'm heading to the airport. I just kind of realized that even though I've been driving through some pretty amazing spots in New Zealand, I've been videoing a lot, but there hasn't been much dialogue or like, this vlog's gonna be a, be, a, be a bit weird. It's always really hard doing vlogs when I'm also working, doing video stuff, because then I kind of get crossed over and it gets confusing. Whoa, check out the Dunedin train station. That's an impressive beast, isn't it? Let's pull in here and have a quick look. Bad Dunedin, not bad at all. Back here when you're going home, it's always way harder. Do you know what I can't stand? When rental cars don't have rubbish bins. I want to be a tidy Kiwi, I want to dispose of my own rubbish. There's nowhere to leave it other than in the car. Which just doesn't feel right. But hey, if that's what they want, that's what they got. It's my first time at Dunedin Airport. I've never been to Dunedin before. 
which I think is why I'm pretty bummed that I don't have longer hair. My first time to Dunedin, I was here for three hours. Grandmother's 80th birthday, so he took his daughter with him. 